you know like mm, oh maybe i don't need that maybe i don't need you Ooh, yikes Hey y'all, it's your girl Michaela Janae here, back with another video. And for today's Faith Talk Maja Speaks, today I will be talking about moving on. Let's hop right into the video. So today we're going to be speaking about moving on, more specifically talking about moving on from the things that have been there the longest. For us as millennials and as young people in general, we think that the people we've been with the longest, the things we've been watching since we were kids, the music we've listened to since we were kids, you know, our childhood best friends are just supposed to stay in our life and stay with us. But that is not true. Even if it's not, it's such long term, but just, you know, that very first YouTube channel you subscribe to or the very first podcast you subscribe to, it's a little bit harder to cut that off or to let that go and move on from it. But right now I'm giving you the permission to really analyze the things in your life, analyze the things that's been there the longest and the things that were there first and the things that you have a special connection to you're just like I can't give this one thing to God I can't let this one go yet because I've known this girl for the longest I've been watching this person for the longest this topic came to me last night and I was thinking like so many of us have so many things that we have a tight hold on and we're like okay I'll give God all of me except for these few things because they're special to me although it might seem like it'll be sad to let the people go, the things go. Not everything can come with you to your next level. And that is what's also important. You don't know that the things you're holding that's so close to you and so special also have a hold on you that's holding you back from what God wants to give you. And that's so important because yesterday I just deleted a podcast that I had been listening to since I first started listening to podcasts. This woman, you know, she was a Christian woman and I also want you guys to know that it can be Christian things that you have to let go to not every Christian youtuber has to be watched not everyone is purposeful for you in your phase and where you're at right now in your journey back to the girl I was like it's time to let this go because one is not feeding into me it's not educating me in the phase I'm in and what I'm working towards right now I have to let it go if the entertainment is no longer things that I want coming into my mind and I speak about that all the time I have to to let it go and it's to the point where all the youtubers i used to watch that i've been watching for such a long time I, they're not even on my subscription list anymore i used to be subscribed to like a bunch of people but now i'm just like how can i cut it down how can i cut it down because things like that also become distractions the things you're holding on to also have a hold on you so i want you guys to know that it is so important to move on from certain things i'm a person that loves new i love to clean now i love to do a full sweep and just get rid of you know Know, the podcast the music the YouTube and start over when it comes to people I'm always asking God remove everyone from my life who's not feeding into me that I can't help them anymore and that are unlike you because I don't want to take anyone on my journey that's not supposed to come with me so that goes for people things y'all I'm telling you like it is time to move on from the the things that you feel a connection to but that are meaning you no good and it's not that everything has to go but some of the things it's time to just do a deep clean of life I have whole playlists on old phones and I'm like this isn't even me anymore I don't have to go back and you know listen to this music it's time to move on create new experiences you don't have to stay stuck when you're carrying around things from your past unintentionally your mind and your mental state stays there in the past it's all about moving forward and and moving on y'all this this came to me and it was so good God does not want us to stay stuck the walk with God and walking on our path for our life is a journey we continuously have to be moving we continuously have to be making changes in our lives to better ourselves you know like I always say it's not about religion to be your best self there's no way you can be holding on to past things or things that mean you no good or there's no way you can be your best self and when it comes to friends and relationships we're holding holding on to things because of the history that's there and we're holding on to things because of this person knows me so well and I don't want to start over with somebody new what do you realize that your blessing could be right outside the door of letting that person go right outside the door of unsubscribing from that person like small things like that God is just waiting on you to come to your senses about it like certain things certain people it doesn't have a space in where you're going and a lot of people 
try to make space and they struggle and they never reach their goals or they get there to their goal and they're bringing this person along and it doesn't work out and then it explodes and you don't even want to get to that point so right now I'm telling you guys move on assess the things in your life that are holding you back that you feel like are, are keeping you stagnant like I go through my YouTube subscription and I'm like okay when's the last time I watched this let's let it go do I like what this person is doing on their channel let's let it go okay this music artist how do you live in their life what does that song even really mean like what are they saying let's let that go it's all about a deep clean going into this last quarter going into the new year going into tomorrow it starts now reassess your life clean out your closet clean things out clean out your contacts i do that like now that i'm going into college i'm like okay we text all summer i can move on from this person i can move on from that history it's all right release the word for this year is release so release those things release those people and honey you'll feel so much better you don't realize that those people have a hold on you but they're also weighing you down you're gonna feel so free you know so light so airy just move on and it can be hard I'm not saying y'all gonna do this tomorrow but what I'm asking you to do is take the first step tomorrow at least start looking at it and then move on from there it is a hard thing but it is a thing that has to be done moving on letting go is so important so I want you guys to be free tomorrow honey and to be free is to let go of what's holding you what's stopping you from walking with God it's time to move on from things that are not feeding you if you're not getting fed honey they gotta go it's gotta go we are all about working on ourselves so that we can help other people and bless other people but if we're so consumed in these things and these people we can't even live out God's purpose for our life so that is all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching I hope you watch this video all the way through I'm so in love with these short quick Maja Speaks so if you love them too please leave a comment down below share this with your friends watch the faith talk playlist and I'm gonna holla at y'all in my next video Y'all like my hair? It's going through something. These are like really old curls, but you know. Cute.